Hello everyone. Welcome to Numeric Learning. In today's video, let us discuss how to do assertion reason type question. So in such questions, you will be explained, you will be given two statements and you will be given these set of rules in the question paper you don't have to memorize mostly okay so the first statement will be a mathematical statement and the second statement which is the reason will be an explanation okay it will be some explanation or a mathematical fact you will choose a if both a and r assertion is a reason is r if both are true and a reason that is r is the correct explanation for a then you will choose a if both are true but r is not the correct explanation for a then you will choose b you will choose c if this is a is correct and r is false and you will choose d if a is false and r is true you don't have to memorize it 99 percentage of the cases in assertion reason type questions these four rules of how to on which basis should you choose a b c d will already be given in your question paper let us take a small example for example you are given that uh, an assertion statement is 2 is a prime number so what do you mean by prime number prime number means any number which has only two factors one and itself so 2 is it's to a prime number yes it is a prime number it has only two factors 1 and 2 okay so this first statement is actually true the second statement that is the reason is given that 2 is an even number is to an even number yes it is divisible 2 is divisible by 2 so 2 is an even number so this statement is also the reason is also true now does r explain a does the second statement explain the reason why the first statement is true does it explain that being even doesn't doesn't explain as to why 2 is a prime number not all the even numbers are prime numbers isn't it so the reason is just another fact about the number 2 but it does not explain the assertion given okay so r in this case does not explain or is not a correct explanation for a so which options would you choose you will choose b because here both the statements are correct but r is not the right explanation for a so the answer will be b so this is how you have to solve assertion reason type questions don't worry you don't have to memorize them it will be mentioned in the question paper